Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kukwa. If today's your first time, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Either way, you are welcome. So today I'll be showing you a really simple braid out tutorial using some rollers. I'll be using two very simple products. One is the Herbal Essences mousse we used in the previous video because I did learn that I do need some mousse to help to make some curls on my hair in a blown out state. I'll also be using some Shea and Aloe Butter, very simple simple braid out if you like natural hair videos if you like music some family fun and also some inspiration and encouragement here and there don't forget to subscribe to my channel also share with somebody who might also like this type of content we'll be working in small sections as always just doing a simple three strand twist applying a small amount of mousse towards the end and some shea and aloe butter it's really simple so just work your way all through and that's pretty much it I ended up with about nine individual braids on each side of the head. I went for a center part. So as you can see, everything is put away. And now I have three individual braids per roller, all curled up towards the end. We don't want the side or we don't want the entire head to be curled. We just want the tips to be curled. So you just put some mousse towards the end and then just curl that up or roll that up into the roller. And I did put some pins because sometimes some of them try to run away. So yeah, I did put it or support it with some pins. So I'll be back to show you how this turns out. This is why it's best to sometimes do this in the evening, then you can just sleep on it and then the next morning you'll be good to go. This is really great for either work if you wear your hair out to work or to any other function so let's pray this turns out great and I'll be back to show you how it looks like after giving the mousse some time for it to work its magic in the hair I'm gonna be taking down these braids and I did put on a natural looking wig from finger comber and I'll show you because I'll actually be using that particular unit to style the hair so I'll just go ahead and quickly just um, unravel these braids and show you how you can style this hair it's a really simple hairstyle except for the part where you just have to put it in the braids so yeah I'll just go ahead and quickly go through that and I will see you when it's time to comb this out okay so it doesn't look too bad for the takedown, you will need a rat tail comb that you would start to use to unravel the braids from the tip of the hair all the way to the scalp. Just be careful, we want some of the curls to remain, especially the one towards the end to give some really good curl definition. So slowly but gently work your way all the way through the strands that and the braids that you already put in the roller. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hold on and try and separate once everything is out. After removing all the braids, this is what it's looking like. It's already looking pretty full if you ask, um, but if you want it to get a bit more volume as always, you have your comb and you can just start picking it from the base. Uh, I tend to style my hair this way sometimes for work if I wanted something a little easy, not too difficult to pull off, just a simple braid out. Um, so always you can be gentle and get a bit more. Oops, I think I missed one more braid. Okay, all right, let's do this. Just gonna remove that with my hand in the back. <laughs> Literally trying to make up a song. <laughs> How is your summer going? If you're in the East Coast, it's summertime. If you're not in the East Coast, it's probably still summertime. If you're in Ghana or somewhere in Africa, Asia, Europe, how is your day going? All right, so we're trying to keep some curls in, so. If you comb it too much, you're gonna lose the curls. Remember, this is not like, we didn't use any gel, so this isn't something that would stay in if you keep combing the hair, but if you want a bit more volume, you can sacrifice some of that curl pattern. Yeah. I really like how this turned out. All right. Maybe just put it off the hair. 
yeah it's a simple braid out i hope whenever i turn this thing makes sense If you wanted to get a little fancy with a bit more volume, you can always attach a half wig to this particular hairstyle. I'm gonna show you one that I actually wore to work today. It's the Finger Coma Unit, and it's in a texture that matches very closely with his hair. So I'll show you really quickly how I do it, because I'll be leaving out this side, and it blends in really well. All right, I'll go do the install, and I'll come show you a few more steps. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So this finger comb unit is one of my favorite Afro wigs ever. So the texture, I don't know if you can tell, but when I do this braid out, it almost looks like my hair. And it's not, I always tell people, it's a wig. So then it's so cool because it's a half wig, therefore it will cover up all of the hair. So if you can see these combs, just tuck it in, I put the rest of the hair in one. And if I wanted to have my hair looking bigger, this is typically what I would do. Just so it's a really simple one. And if you were afraid that somebody might detect where it's coming from, you can just like, you know, just put some of the hair over it. But it almost looks like it's all you though. Interesting. But almost twice as much. And this is a look. Yeah. So this is real. And then I guess now we can do this because this is actually, there we go, all right, yay, okay, so, this can be kind of excellent and it. yeah, and it's almost going to look like it's one big unit, and if you want, you can always kind of tuck in this other side, inside, and then just, you know, have this one here down and there you go yeah i always um think that if you want to wear half wig just make sure that it blends in with your own hair in a way that makes the blending really really seamless and that's kind of what um i always try to go for so yeah that's the end of the tutorial and i hope you like it if you did please don't forget to like and share subscribe down below i'll be coming in with more tutorials because i'm wearing my hair a little bit more this summer so i'm kind of having fun with it and experimenting so i'm kind of sharing as i go this is real time hair styling okay i literally did this so i'm actually sharing it so if you like this video don't forget to like it comment subscribe down below and i will be back with another tutorial all right i love you just as much more Toodles. Bye.